So for this video, I just want to cover the upcoming tech demo, what to expect for the install process and what to expect when using it. First thing, this is the download page and this is where you can download the tech demo. I have it uploaded on Mega Upload, so here's what it'll look like when you click through the link. Below, you'll see a listing of the controls. I'm going to cover them in the video anyways, but this is useful for reference later. So I already have the zip downloaded makes sense considering I'm the one that uploaded it. All you need to do is extract it. There's no installing to be done. Once this finishes, I'm going to open up the folder and there will be a couple files for me to explain. So I included the source code for the tech demo. This is only Project Freefall source code and to use it, you'll actually have to go through the same steps I detailed in just this how to use Unreal 4 source code video I put up not too long ago. The playgame.bat is just a shortcut to the executable, which happens to be buried quite a ways in folders. So I would suggest using it to start the game. Once you're in, the graphical user interface is a little bit interesting. You click and it gives you kind of a preview and then you have to click again to navigate. And you'll see that there's an options menu. It's pretty basic, but it's nice to have. You can change the aim sensitivity here, but I would suggest using the console, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. Join only works on LAN sessions, which if you're hosting a server on LAN, people can join or should be able to join from LAN. Otherwise, you're going to have to use the console to connect to hosted servers. So that out of the way, I'm just going to host a server of my own so I can play. You'll see two maps if you explore High Rise and Sanctuary. Sanctuary is the only one that's actually included, so they just use that. I prefer LAN on just because that's what I prefer. And I'll do two bots, why not? And then free fall. Free for all. So console can be opened with the tilde key. It's the one just below escape on most keyboards, I should say. Uh, FOV set to whatever you like, and then mouse sensitivity set to whatever you like, but those tend to be the two most set and used commands there are. These bots are very accurate with those rifles. So, to walk through the control scheme, lateral jets are activated by using either uh, both one of the thumb mouse buttons uh, or middle mouse. So it's three three buttons if you have a five button mouse can activate lateral jets all by themselves. Up jet is right mouse, fire is left mouse, typical of any shooter. Wow, I'm to die. Uh, space bar is jump, right shift is ski, and this map is not exactly the greatest skiing map, but I'm skiing right now technically. And then I'll ski up some stairs. Whee! Ski up some more stairs. Whee! So, they're skiing. Rockets. Oh, I didn't kill them. So, to switch weapons, Q will switch to your previous weapon, and the scroll wheel will cycle between the weapons. And I think that is the entire control scheme. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I suppose uh, WASD are your backward, forward, left, right movement. Uh, again, pretty simple. First person shooters. So, to quit, you can just escape and then quit. And again, you can get the tech demo at the download page at projectfreefall.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can post in the video comments or hit me up uh, Twitter at Cicade, or you can go to the game forums and post there. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested, go grab the tech demo.